perfect. Thank you so much. So I wanted to start with the journey of philosophy, because after so many years of people trying to figure out what is the human uh, mind, where, why are we here, you, you will think, okay, how can a contribution be made in the 20th century, right? Probably everyone already figured it out before. Right. But no, in the journey of philosophy and throughout history, we can see that, of course, there are advancements, but there was something that Rand did that no one else did before. What was it so special about Ayn Rand? What was uh, unique about Ayn Rand, what she brought to philosophy, is the value-oriented approach of an artist. She was a novelist first and developed her philosophy in order to create the ideas and premises in her characters that she thought made them fit to survive and prosper in reality. Mm -hmm. So she approached philosophy from a very absolute black and white, passionate perspective. Then you add in that she was a great introspector so that she looked at how her own mind worked. Her contributions are fundamentally about values and the nature of the mind. Mm -hmm. She solved the two problems that were raised in the Renaissance that were never solved because Aristotle got us going. Aristotle, to whom she owed a tremendous debt, which she constantly mentioned. And that well, was my next question. Yeah. The connection with Aristotle. She, uh, Aristotle created civilization, really. Well, Thales and, and some of the earlier philosophers first, but Aristotle created modern civilization by defining the basic principles of epistemology. But Ayn Rand solved the two remaining problems, the theory of concepts, how concepts are formed, how they relate to reality, that's on the mind side, and the basis of moral value, which she solved the is ought problem that David Hume had crystallized in the 1700s and which makes everyone think you can't have a science of ethics, mm -hmm. that value judgments are subjective and you can't have principles based on reality. Reason and reality have nothing to do with values they think, and she showed how reason and reality are precisely the thing that has to do with values.